Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabita fillah The Prophet Sallallahu Alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam Said Ejtenibu Kabair Beware of the major sins Ejtenibu Kabair And from those major sins Al Kabair Al Ishraq Billah Azza wa Jal It is to associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ وَالْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I've not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. So therefore, ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the purpose of our creation. And avoiding shirk, which is the opposite, meaning the opposite of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is worshipping the shaitan, or worshipping the jinn, or worshipping people, or worshipping our desires that that is the antithesis that is the exact opposite the polar opposite that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbids while the other thing meaning worship to Allah, uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with their class with sincerity is the opposite and that's what we're commanded to do well amr yufidul wujuh a command shows that that is an obligation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to worship Him. He prohibited us from shirk. And worship Allah alone. And don't associate partners with Him. All of that is known to us. That command and that nahi. That prohibition. That's clear. We know that as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, do we realize that at times we end up worshipping our own desires. We end up worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by worshipping our nafs, by associating ourselves with the shaitan and the shayateen, by following our desires over ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we know that it's clear that we should be worshiping and doing something which is obedience to Allah, but we choose disobedience willfully. And this is what the believer is forbidden from, is that hidden shirk, or sometimes open shirk, when we knowfully, uh, we knowingly, willfully do the opposite of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it can reach a level of shirk. That doesn't mean being disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is shirk, no. But it can reach a level of where a person is so disobedient to Allah that and they're choosing to indulge in their desires to such an extent that it becomes worship. This is what we have to avoid. This is what we have to, by any and all means, strive our best to be obedient to Allah Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and for our be forbid our evil and protect us from any and all forms of shirk, the major and the minor shirk, the hidden and the unseen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.